we are here today in Cazanlac because we are implementing in Europe the European Green Deal and the European Chemical Strategy for Sustainability. This will impact the region producing fragrance ingredients all across Europe. Fragrance play an essential role in people's life. We are using them for cosmetic products, for perfumes, for detergent and household products. They contribute to our hygiene habits. They also contribute to our confidence, our self-esteem, and they are part of our social life. Fragrance can also elicit memories and underpin attraction. Fragrance is solidly rooted in Europe and it's also uh, solidly rooted to the preservation of our cultural heritage. In 2018, the know-how linked to the perfume region of grass has been recognized worldwide by UNESCO. Fragrances is part of this uh, cultural heritage and one uh, perfect example is also the Rose Valley in Bulgaria with the rose oil, for instance, being the emblem of Bulgaria. Cazanlac and Grasse, they are twin cities, also linked to the production of fragrance ingredients. And there has been, over the years, a worldwide recognition of fragrances as part of the immaterial list of cultural heritage. The fragrance industry is a positive force. It has high socioeconomic contribution to the different European regions. It contributes to the revitalization of our rural and regional regions. It also embeds a full ecosystem with SMEs and largest companies. And it's therefore essential to preserve this ecosystem and make sure that we also avoid the unintended consequences of the sector. The CSS, the European Chemical Strategy for Sustainability, is about going for a toxic-free environment and many different actions are being implemented uh, at European level to implement the CSS. IFRA and associations across the board have been actively engaged in this dialogue with the European regulators and authorities to make sure that proportionate rules are being designed for the fragrance industry. It's essential to maintain this dialogue with authorities and also leverage sectoral initiatives uh, being conducted on safety and sustainability. We have, for instance, the IFRA code of practice on the IFRA standards, having now 50 years experience for the safe use of fragrance materials. And we have also initiatives like the IFRA IOFI sustainability charter. The solution? We need to take into account the specific characteristics of fragrances in the design of the European legislation. For instance, fragrance ingredients are a very small part, present in a very small dose in your final consumer product, but it plays a, an essential role also in terms of consumer satisfaction, consumer response to consumer demand and consumer's acceptance. We need to work together to equip our sector with the tools in order to go with this green transition and make sure that we have a clear roadmap which is suitable for our sector and takes into account fragrance characteristics. <laughs>